God says, I command you to love me. You see, Jesus is Lord. He's not trying to be Lord, hoping to be Lord, encouraging us to get out the vote so we can vote him in as Lord. Jesus is Lord. That, I love my job as a preacher because I get to just be emphatic. You know, so many folks, you have to be real diplomatic in what you do, you know, and, and try to smooth and, and make people feel comfortable. No, no, I get up and tell folk what the book says. And the book says Jesus is Lord. Get with the program. Jesus is Lord. He's not trying to be Lord, hoping to be Lord. He is Lord. You don't believe me? One day, every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess. I love running into these folk who, who think they have the privilege of trying to make up their mind about whether they believe Jesus. I tell them, well, you don't have a lot of time to get your mind made up because he's coming again. And when he comes again, every knee will bow. The question is not whether you will bow to his lordship. The only question is when. You bow now and you enjoy his blessings and his favor and his salvation and you enjoy living by divine design. But if you don't bow now, believe me, my friend, you will bow. Every knee is going to bow. Every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. So since I discovered that he is Lord, then it makes sense for me to submit to his lordship and to fulfill the great commandment, which is to love him with all of my heart. I want to encourage you to be a lover of God. Life goes right when you love the author of life.